Hi, I'm Dr. Karen Tucker, board certified internal medicine physician. I've seen a lot of misinformation about COVID-19 on the internet, so I want to put together this video to give you some facts. What is COVID-19? It's a novel coronavirus or new strain of coronavirus that came out of China and has spread in, across the world in a pandemic. How is it spread? Person to person, through respiratory droplets. That means if someone's infected, they can spread it through sneezing, coughing, or even talking to you. So close person-to-person -person contact is how it spreads. Also on contaminated surfaces. So if an infected person has touched a surface and then you touch that surface and then touch your face, then you can get it as well. And it can even be spread if the person doesn't even know they have the infection and it's asymptomatic. Symptoms can occur two to 14 days after exposure. What are the symptoms? Well, typically there's shortness of breath, cough, fever, muscle aches, flu-like symptoms. But in less common cases, we've actually seen loss of sense of smell and taste and nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. A lot of people ask, should I be tested? Well, the CDC has put out guidelines as far as who should be tested, but it's up to the state and local health departments as to whether or not you can get tested depending on the number of tests that are available. So first priority is always going to be hospitalized patients who have symptoms. Also healthcare workers who have symptoms. Those are going to get this test first. Now, secondly, anybody in a long-term care facility who has symptoms will be tested. Also, anybody over the age of 65 who has symptoms, and also anybody who has underlying medical conditions who has symptoms. Those people are also gonna be tested second priority. Lastly, anyone in the community who has symptoms is going to get tested. What if you have it? What do you do? Well, it's important to stay home. Most cases are mild, about 80% of them, and they can be treated with supportive care. So that means, you know, fluids and rest and over-the-counter products for any symptoms you might have. Also, you should consider getting a separate bedroom or a separate bathroom if you can, if your house allows that, so that you can stay away from the rest of your family because you do need to self-isolate. And also wear a mask, and anyone else in your house should also wear a mask if you have COVID-19. When are you allowed to leave the house? Well. There are three recommendations as far as when you can finally leave the house. The first one is when you're 72 hours fever free off of any medication that would lower your fever. Secondly, when your symptoms improve. And thirdly, seven days after the first symptom that you had. Conversely, it's fever free for 72 hours, uh, symptoms are improving, and if you've had two negative tests within a 24 hour period, on those conditions, you can leave the house. So quarantine, again, if you have it, or you think you have it, act like you have it, and self-quarantine. Anybody in your family should also quarantine. Because of the incubation period of two to 14 days, anybody in your house should also quarantine themselves for 14 days and not leave the house because they may develop symptoms in that time frame. It's really important to do that. Some people don't understand why we need to stay home. Well, it's pretty simple. If you stay home, you have less of a chance of getting the disease. And the worst case scenario is if everybody gets the disease at the same time, the hospitals and healthcare workers become overburdened. And that's called flattening the curve. So I think together, if we act responsibly, we can all beat this and help flatten the curve. Please remember to use precautions to avoid getting COVID-19. That means frequent hand washing with soap and water, and if that's not available, use a hand sanitizer that has at least 60% alcohol in it. Also, new recommendations have been made for everybody to wear a mask, so if you're going to be out in public for any reason for those essential runs for food uh, to see the doctor, then please wear a mask when you're around any other person. And this is Dr. Karen Tucker. I appreciate you taking the time to watch, and please stay safe out there.